Hello everyone, welcome back to your channel Physics with Oliver. Today we will discuss another problem from polarization. Okay. At first I am discussing some facts to you. After that I will read the problem and we will solve this. Okay. So let's start. Suppose this is a un this is an unpolarized light of intensity I naught. Okay. This is passing through a polaroid. P. For a unpolarized light, we know that for an unpolarized light, we know all components of electric fields are there, right? But when it is passing through a polarizer, only one component will be there. So always remember that when an unpolarized light is passing through a polaroid, then the intensity of the light will become half of its previous intensity. This is the unpolarized light, polarized, okay, and this is the polarized light. When an unpolarized light is passing through a polaroid, then the intensity of the light will become half of its previous value, okay. Always remember the fact for any problem. And then I will come to the next point. Suppose a polarized light which have intensity I naught. This is a polarized light. Okay, for your uh, understanding, I am making this I. Otherwise, you will confuse again. So, let us consider I is the intensity of a polarized light. Okay, and it is passing through a polaroid which is making an angle theta with the axis. Okay, now... Tell me what is the intensity of the light after passing the polaroid. The intensity will become I cos square theta. Okay. So what is the first fact? The first fact is when an unpolarized light is passing through a polaroid, then the intensity of the unpolarized light will become half of its previous value. And the next fact is when a polarized light of intensity I is passing through a polaroid where the angle between the axis and the polaroid is theta, the intensity of the polarized light will become I cos square theta. For the first case, it was unpolarized light and after passing, we will get polarized one. But for the second case, these two lights are polarized, the incident light and the transmitted light, both are polarized. But only the intensity is changing. You have to remember these two facts to solve the problem. Okay. Now we will discuss the problem. Now read the problem. Two polaroids P1 and P2 are placed with their axis perpendicular to each other. So we have two polaroids. This is the first polaroid P1 and this is the second polaroid P2. Uh, okay, I am drawing this. We have to draw the third polaroid also. So, I am making space. This is the polaroid P2. The angle between P1 and P2 is 90 degree because it is said they are perpendicular to each other. Now, the unpolarized light I0 is incident on P1. So, unpolarized light is incident on P1 and the intensity is I0. A third polaroid, P3, is kept in between P1 and P2. In between P1 and P2, we have to place a third polaroid, P3, such that its axis makes an angle 45 degree with P1. So, the angle between P1 and P3 is 45 degree. So, we have to place this in this manner. This is P3 and the angle between P1 and P3 is 45 degree that means this angle is 45 degree right we know the angle between p1 and p2 is 90 degree here we can see the angle between p1 and p3 is 45 degree so we can say the angle between p3 and p2 is 90 minus 45 degree that is equals to 45 degree because the angle between p1 and p2 was 90 degree an angle between P1 and P3 is 45 degree. So, from here we can calculate the angle between P3 and P2 is 45 degree. Okay. 
so now we will apply the facts which uh, which we have already discussed that unpolarized light i not is passing through a polaroid p1 so now we will get a polarized light whose intensity will be half of the previous one so i not divided by 2 right now this polarized light is passing through the third polaroid sorry the second polaroid p3 and the angle between the axis and the polaroid is 45 degree so we will get the pol uh, we will get another polarized light here whose intensity is i not by 2 cos square theta here theta is 45 degree right so the value will become i not by 2 cos 45 is 1 by root 2 and the square means 1 by 2 so we will get i not by 4 right now this polarized light of intensity i not by 4 is passing through another polaroid uh, p2 and the angle between p3 and p2 is again 45 degree so the light coming out from p2 will also be a polarized light and the intensity will become i not by 4 cos square theta here theta is 45 so i not by 4 cos square 45 means half so the value will become i not by 8 right we have used two factors here that unpolarized light of intensity i not is passing through a polarizer and then we will get the intensity is i not by 2 and this is a polarized light then we are using the second fact that suppose this is a light from where the polarized light is coming whose intensity is i and then it is falling on the second polarizer it is falling on the second polarizer angle between first and second polarizer is theta so the light coming out from the second polarizer has the intensity i cos square theta where theta is the angle between the first and second polarized right so i think it is clear to you so we have got the answer i naught by 8 this will be the right answer thank you everyone for watching the video like share and subscribe you will get regular video from this channel if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section and you can ask your uh, problems or any other numericals in the comment section or you can mail me okay thank you everyone